This is an echocardiogram from the parasternal long axis view. In parasternal long axis view, the transducer is placed in the left parasternal region, usually in fourth left intercostal space close to the sternum. And you rotate the transducer in such a way that a good image is obtained. Long axis means this is the long axis, base of the heart to the apex. So the transducer position is in such a way that you see the aorta above, left atrium below that, a portion of the right ventricular outflow tract, India ventricular septum and posterior wall of the left ventricle along with cavity of the left ventricle. The two walls seen here are the aortic wall you can see opening and closing. You can also see the mitral anterior leaflet is the main one seen here. Posterior leaflet is also slightly seen. This is the parasternal long axis view. Usually the first view taken during echocardiography. And to recognize regional wall motion abnormality, you compare the motion of different portions of the left ventricle. Here you can see that the posterior wall of the left ventricle is contracting vigorously. So the as well the base of the interventricular septum is also contracting well. Free wall of the right ventricle is also contracting vigorously. These are normal regions. But look at this portion. This portion of the septum is not contracting well. That is a regional wall motion abnormality. Decreased contraction is known as hypokinesia. If there is no contraction, it is echinesia. If the region bulges out during systole, when the rest of the portions are contracting, if a region bulges out, it is known as dyskinesia. These are the various types of regional wall motion abnormality. Usual cause of regional wall motion abnormality is obstruction to the coronary artery. The coronary artery supplying this region of the heart muscle will be obstructed, usually a myocardial infarction. This would be an anterior wall myocardial infarction, secondary to occlusion of the left anterior descending coronary artery. That is the regional wall motion abnormality seen in this view. After that you have to see other views and also there is classification. American Society of Echocardiography has divided segments of the left ventricle into 17 segments and the regional wall motion abnormality has to be coded according to the region where it is hypokinetic. This is a still image showing the segments basal androceptal, mid androceptal mid posterior basal posterior so in the previous clip you can understand that it is the mid androceptal which is hypokinetic while the basal androceptal is contracting basal posterior was contracting and mid posterior was contracting in the view which you have just seen these are the segments in the parasternal short axis view mid androceptal mid anterior, mid lateral, mid posterior, mid inferior and mid septal. You can see the papillary muscles also in this view. Now we can see the moving images. The mid androceptal and mid septal segments are hypokinetic. Movements are lower. While rest of the segments are contracting well. In short axis view, you see the left ventricle in cross section. You can see mid androceptal and mid septal segments hypokinetic. Now we will have a look at the segments in the apical four chamber view. Apical segment, apical lateral, mid lateral, basal lateral, basal septal, mid septal and apical septal are the segments seen from the apical four chamber view. 
In this view, the transducer is kept at the apex of the left ventricle and the imaging is upwards. That is why the image is seen as upside down in this view. Uh, this is the live apical four chamber view. You can see that the apical septal, apical and apical lateral segments are hypokinetic. Rest of the left ventricular segments are contracting well. You can also see the mitral and tricuspid valves opening and closing well. This is the papillary muscle. These are the structures seen in this view.